Hello friends, I thank you for taking your time and your interest in this topic. In this video, I'm going to share with you about another kind of water quality index evaluation method called Nemoros Pollution Index or in short NPI. This water quality index evaluation method is also known as the Rose Pollution Index. The steps for calculating the NPI index value is very simple when compared to other water quality index methods. For easy flow and better understanding of our discussion, hypothetically, let us assume that the researcher is interested in analyzing and determining the water quality from these three different groundwater sources. And after water samples collection, let us assume that the parameters studied are pH, electrical conductivity, total alkalinity, total hardness, calcium, magnesium, and sulfate. And the analytical data obtained for the water quality analyzed are given in this table. In this study, let's say the researcher is very really much interested in finding or determining which individual parameters among all the parameters studied contribute significantly to the water quality deterioration. So in such cases, the researcher will get his or her answer by implementing the numerous pollution index. And the formula used for calculation of numerous pollution index is given or expressed as given in the equation here. NPI is equal to CN divided by SN, where CN, the numerator, refers to the concentration of the nth parameters, whereas SN is the prescribed standard limit of the nth parameters. So after you calculate the NPI index value, the value obtained after calculation will either be less than or equal to 1, or the NPI values will be greater than 1. So if the water parameter's NPI value is greater than 1, then it indicates that particular parameters is present in a surplus amount or concentration in the water samples, uh, and the particular parameters have the potential of contributing pollution to the water body, which is being studied. Okay. So for example, let's go to the Excel sheet how to calculate the NPI index value and how will we conclude on that. For example purposes in this video, raw data, analytical data from for station one, station two, and station three, all the parameters that are studied in this Excel sheet. For any quality uh, water quality index evaluation, the selected parameters incorporated in the study should have standard limit because without standard limit, then the index calculation will not be possible. Now let's see. So this is your sample, the analytical data, and let's go and see how we'll calculate the NPI value. So for station one, what you have to do is what is the concentration of the pH in station one? You just put equal sign. Concentration of pH in station one is eight point three, and then you divide it by the prescribed standard limit of the pH, which is eight point five. So this will be zero point nine eight. Will be your NPI value for station one for pH. So similarly, this is how we do for the other parameters. Okay. So these values here, 0 0.97 will be the NPI value of electrical conductivity, NPI value of total alkalinity, NPI value of total hardness, and so on. So similarly for station two. So what is the concentration of the nth parameter? The concentration of the pH in station 2 is 7.7. Then you divide it by the standard limit of pH. So that will be 8.5. Press enter key. Then you just drag it for all will be all the same. So this will be your NPI value of all the parameters studied in for station 2. And similarly for station 3, D concentration of pH is 7.8 then you divide it by the 
prescribe standard limit of pH which is 8.5 so it will be 0 0.92 similarly you just drag for the other parameter study so these are the NPI values of the different parameter studied for different sampling stations okay so the NPI index value obtained which is this will either be less than one or greater than one and the parameters where the NPI values are greater than one are highlighted in yellow okay so let's highlight those which are greater than one in yellow okay so these are the ones which are greater than one the NPI's value which are greater than one indicates the surplus amount or concentration of the parameters present in the water body or they are also responsible of, for contributing to the pollution of the water body which has been studied so for example in this case okay the npi value of ph was found to be less than one in all the sampling station whereas we'll find that the npi value of electrical conductivity is less than one in station one but is more than one in both the station one and station two and the total alkalinity value is less than one in all sampling station total hardness npi value is less than one in sampling station one and sampling station two but more than one in sampling station three similarly for calcium here whereas with magnesium we'll find that it's less than one in station one and station three whereas the sulfate content is greater than one in all the sampling stations so based on the npi evaluation in this example the highest index value was contributed by sulfate which is 12.9 and electrical conductivity which is 2.08 and the other ranges from 1.01 to 1.95 so for station one we can conclude that the contributing parameters responsible for deterring the water quality is sulfate only but as for station two the contributing parameters which are responsible for deteriorating the water quality in station two are electrical conductivity magnesium and sulfate whereas for sampling station three the contributing parameters responsible for deteriorating the water quality in station 3 are electrical conductivity total hardness calcium and sulfate so with this we can conclude that the numerous pollution index value help us in determining or in, in identifying which parameters is responsible for polluting or deteriorating the water quality of any area study and these are the references where you'll find that uh, there are a few research paper where NPI has been used in the water quality assessment. With this, I have come to an end and I hope this video will guide you and understand what is a numerous pollution index value. Thank you so much once again and God bless.